The economy and, and the nature of our economy, I think, can be summarized in this imagery. And it is optimistic, but you'll see it's not globally optimistic. This is the plow horse economy. Um, that's actually not mine. Uh, that comes from First Trust in Chicago. And I think it's very accurate because none of us would say this is secretariat, but it is making progress bit by bit, little by little. And we believe that that's going to continue. Um, the economy grew about 2% in 2011. Uh, for various reasons, it's going to grow probably a little slower in 2012. The final numbers come out on January 30th. For 2013, we think the number is closer to 3%. And there's a couple of interesting reasons why. One is generally more things are gearing. But there were two externalities last year that are going to play this year. And that is we had a terrible hurricane in the eastern United States. The rebuilding of that will absolutely add to the GDP number in the United States. Forgotten, but probably just as important from an economic standpoint, is we had a terrible drought in this country last summer. And so rebuilding farm inventories will also be a net positive. Now, part of this plow horse type of imagery, however, is that because our friends in Washington can't do things on the same time schedule that we all do things. Um, some of the economic activity was absolutely borrowed from the first quarter of 2013 into the 2012. By the nature of my job, I deal with high net worth customers all day long, and many, many of them did this sort of tax transactions to get away from the fiscal, fiscal cliff that all of us would love to do. Equally important, over 1,000 U.S. companies paid dividends in the fourth quarter of 2012 that normally would have been paid in 2013. So I give that as sort of a warning. Don't expect the economy to look great, 3% growth in the beginning of the year, because a lot of economic activity got shifted into, uh, into last year.